Are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call this meeting to order. Uh, we'll start with our pledge, and then Commissioner Patton, if you'll do our prayer, put me aside and Charles behind you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious and holy Father in heaven, we approach thy throne this evening in a humble manner. Ask your blessings upon this gathering that we have assembled to discuss the business of our city. Bless each one of us with patience and wisdom. And may we make the best decisions for the citizens and for all concerns that we might make the best decision within the regulations and the laws and things that we need to be able to abide by. Direct our steps, not as tonight, but in our life. Keep it from the evil one, in Christ's name. Amen. Okay. First item is approval of minutes. Make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion to second. Those in favor, sing five down. Uh, oh, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. I make a motion to second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I'm going to break away from the agenda just to a minute to allow Denitra with the Department of Transportation, our Madisonville office, to talk a little bit about Main Street. Mm. Yes, I moved way up the agenda. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's, uh, I came here tonight. Uh, we met on site this morning on the project to discuss the, the Main Street repairs that were, it's more than repairs, we're, we're reconstructing uh, Main Street is what we're doing. So let me give a little background before I go into the current status of the project. Um, the reason that we're reconstructing Main Street is because of this, the terrible ongoing condition of the pavement. And I think everyone would agree uh, that the pavement condition has not been satisfactory in a long time. And that's because of the condition of the sub subgrade, the subsurface, the soils. Um, just when, when the road was constructed, this, the dirt that they used was not standard that we would use today. And so after years and years, long before I was in my position, um, we've uh, always just patched and patched and received complaints and patched some more. And we received some um, non-standard funding um, to, to fully fix the road, to completely dig out the substandard material and put good material back in. And so the mayor introduced me. Let me introduce myself again. I'm Denitra Henderson. I'm the chief district engineer in Madisonville for the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. And we cover 12 counties, including Ohio County. Um, and so this morning we met with the contractor because um, as any construction project goes, roadway, your house, wherever you are, there's things that come up that aren't what you expected when you were designing. And so we're trying to work through some of those issues that we have the least impact to the people that use the roadway. But the thing is, uh, you can't rebuild a roadway in the exact same place without some impact. And so the, uh, the plans were developed last year. It went out to bid um, late last year. And we are already under contract with Scotty's um, for some certain provisions in the contract that I found out this morning the mayor and Larry, Mr. Condor, was not aware of. And so I offered to come and try to give an update to you all because I'm sure you get a lot of questions about the status of Main Street since it's in the city. Um, and so I have a list and I will read them because it's a list of the exact closures that are planned for Main Street. And so I'll try to get through these. Um, but forgive me for reading. Do you have a copy of them? And so West First Street is uh, US 62 coming from this side and then just City Street, First Street on the other side. Uh, West First Street, um, which is the, the uh, well, West First Street, they have to relocate the sanitary sewer force main. Is that a city force main? Is that? It's regional wastewater. Regional wastewater. And so that has to be uh, reconstructed or, or moved uh, because the drainage pipes that we're installing um, need to go where the force main is. So that's something that they'll be doing soon. Uh, the contractor has given us their schedule and I will, I will share that today, but just keep in mind that weather uh, and materials will definitely impact this. But I usually give more general in two to three weeks, but I'll give you the exact dates that the contractor has given us because I know it's an area of interest to a lot of people right now. So Scotty's, uh, their, their foreman is telling us that on March 20th uh, through March 26th, uh, 
West First Street will be closed for seven days. The westbound lane of US 62 will stay open. So one lane will stay open. The eastbound lane will, will be closed. So one lane open, but you can't go the other way. Will we be able to get a copy of that? Or I, I will give this to the I will give this to you once she can make copies. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. I shouldn't, but I want to because I know you'll get a lot of questions. I don't. I know I can't <laughs> write all this down. <laughs> no, I'll, we'll, we'll get you a copy. I just I just got it a few minutes before the meeting myself. Um, so seven days. Uh, westbound will be closed. Eastbound. Uh, Westbound open, eastbound closed. First Street, which is the east side of US 62, it will be closed the entire duration of, of the seven days. Um, and so US 62, which is the, the west side, that one, um, will have at least the one lane open. So that's the first phase of the closures. Second phase is a full closure between First Street and Fourth Street a full closure of Main Street. It's two blocks of Main Street, and it's a 16-day closure. You said between 1st and 4th? 1st and 4th. It's how many days, 16? 16 days. They expect that closure to begin on April 17th. This is why the mayor moved me up, so I could get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they, they plan to close that April 17th. Now, we're still a month off of that date, so that date... I wouldn't be surprised if it changed a little bit. But now they've scheduled these dates based on um, trying to get the job completed on time. And so they expect to close that April 17th and reopen on May 8th. Now, the closure, the closure is 16 calendar days. Um, it is a lot of work to do in those 16 days, and I don't expect them to get it done early. Um, it, it will be tight for them to be done on time. And so... Um, of course, if that April 17th date moves, then the May 8th date will also move. So uh, they'll begin just north of the 1st Street intersection and they'll end just south of the West 4th Street intersection. And the reason for that, um, so we were talking about the, the dirt and the soil underneath the pavement that was used. When you see that they're digging up under the sidewalks now, that what they're doing now is putting in 24 and 30 inch pipes and, and putting in new boxes to collect the water and then putting the pipes in between them. And uh, the soil under there, they found tree roots, they found bricks, just things that you wouldn't typically. Um, and now we're hoping that they don't have those, that, that the road does not have those same things under it. Uh, many times they would waste the less desirable material under the sidewalk. So we're hoping that we don't reach that under the road. Um, but the the bottom line is, if we don't want to keep having recurring potholes on Main Street, we need to dig out the, the poor material and put it back good. How far down are you going? So we'll, we'll go down. Uh, we've got 12 inches of, of rock wrapped in fabric, so they'll put down fabric. They've got a geotech fabric or geotech grid that they're using. They use that same um, product in, in Morgantown in front of the McDonald's um, on US-231 there. The material was pumping a lot when they were running their equipment over it. And so they, they use this geotech grid on that as well. And so we, we'll be putting that down here as well. So it's um, the fabric and then the grid and then 12 inches of rock. And then we'll have our typical asphalt section with the base, a few inches of base, and then the surface. Well, we have two feet. I didn't no, do the math. It's not deep enough. <laughs> it will not be enough to get all of the poor material out. No. I think everybody, when we met this morning here, we all agree to that. But with the grid, you can bridge the poor material to keep it from pumping. Oh. Well, we, I, I, I live in Morgantown, and I can tell you that the, uh, the surface in front of the McDonald's is still holding, so I'm optimistic. How long has it been since that work was done? Ten years, at least. Mm -hmm. Enough time. I've seen Main Street dug up down eight feet, and it's awful. Awful. We're, we're afraid that we'll be the same, but but we uh, we feel like if we're just patching and patching, it's just costing us a lot of money. Our crews are in the road and in danger a lot more. And then you are having to deal with our crews patching, and it just looks. So that is the first full depth closure, and when we have to do that because we can't remove the roadway with traffic on it, obviously, and they can't work with one lane. And, and so that's the purpose. When you see the closure, that's what they'll be doing is just removing all of that. Part of it that has the cracks across the road, there's concrete pavement under that. That will have to all come out. And so uh, just it will take time. 
So I'm just trying to get this to your all's attention now so that when it happens we know what's going on. And so that's this, the first closure between 1st Street and 4th Street. Once they complete that, uh, they'll wait a few days and then uh, they'll mobilize over between 4th Street and 7th Street and have another 16 day closure to do those few blocks. And they anticipate that that will happen May 10th, so that's two days after, I believe they have the weekend in between there. And then uh, if, that, if that closes on time, uh, the opening date will be May 31st. And they have big stars on here that says subject to change, so. Okay. And it's uh, the same notes on that. They'll be allowed 16 calendar days to work. So I did not bring a plan set if you have specific questions. Um, but I did just want to give you a, an update on the progress, uh, where we are now. And uh, we did our best to save the decorative sidewalk from your streetscape project because we know that's uh, important to the city. Will the detour between during no time that Main Street is totally closed be down West 62 to Ridgecrest and back up? So the contractor is supposed to work on the detour. And so I would expect they would reach out to the city, you know, Mr. Ponder, and try to work that out. But that seems like a reasonable detour. Okay. And I think the bigger the bigger truck traffic or just anyone going to Walmart, they may hop on the parkway and go around and not have to use the city streets. So I th uh, we may have a formally signed detour that way, and then locals will use the city streets okay. to maneuver. What about the, and we spoke of this morning, what's the plan for those homes and businesses in the stretch between 4th and 7th? Because that's the only place that doesn't have access from the rear on some of them. Yes, we, we talked about that specifically the pharmacy this morning and then the other home this morning. Um, it is in our plans, the contractor is required to provide access to all the businesses and homeowners at all times. And we, we reminded them, they know this, they've worked on a lot of jobs, and um, it, is, it is up to them to determine how they provide access. Now that access will likely be on gravel, on rock. We, they can't keep a paved access to the pharmacy all the time. Uh, but they will, what they will do is in advance of this, this closure on May 10th, they'll reach out to those business owners and talk through what their access will look like. Um, I know the pharmacy has two entrances, so mm -hmm. they'll just close right. one at a time, but then the, the house there, um, they'll, they'll work with that property owner on when they need to get in and out that they know of, and they'll keep it open for then, maybe work when they're gone and then have it open by the time they get, expect to be back. So that's something that we do. It's not ever fun, but we can never fix the road if we don't go through this part of it. Well, I appreciate the fact that it was in the, the contract with the contractor that they do have to, I mean, I knew that had to be something, but yeah, didn't know how it was. And they have steel plates also that we can use when uh, to try to keep them accessed that way also. All right. And one reason why I asked for this, it's sort of a twofold question, because yeah. I work for the Board of Education and I deal with sure. transportation with the buses a lot. Mm -hmm. So I would like for our transportation director just to know in advance. Yeah what we're going to be looking at. Yeah, I, I don't mind to leave this with her. I appreciate that so much, and Chris mm -hmm. Stafford will appreciate it too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, I apologize to the inconvenience, but I am excited <coughs> to see the finished surface, and we won't have to work on it for a long time. Thank and you, And then ma it's going to be from 7th to the other 62? Well. Is that next? I don't think this project covers that section. Gotcha. We were just trying to get the downtown portion that we were having continued payment maintenance issues. Okay. With. Well, and, and that's part of the issue that you and I discussed this morning because that's one of the things that's been told that it's going to be just re milled and resurfaced from 7th to 62 East. Mm -hmm. That was the original plan, um, but we were able to get the additional money to dig it out and replace all the drainage and just try to resolve these strange issues for a long time. You asked me about the bridge this morning on Liberty Road. Um, our engineer was was asking for money to put in a, an aluminum box cover there, but that was not approved. And so when it warms up this summer and dries out this summer, then they'll bring some equipment in and clean that structure out. But the water still flows through it, but we can get it cleaned out and just help. Okay. I'm about to speak out unless you all have more questions. Okay. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.
question about the about Bruceville Road. Can I ask a question about that railroad bridge there? To her? Yeah. She won't have anything to do with the railroad bridge. Well, it goes under the the north and south of the railroad tracks over Bruceville Road. Has nice uh, flowing in the ditch on the on the north side. On the south side, is totally flat. Is this a county road? You know. I don't know. Where's the state, state road start? State road starts after the state road goes to the. Railroad tracks, the county road starts after the railroad tracks, right? On First Street down here. Okay. I'm pretty sure the state goes to the railroad tracks. After right. the railroad tracks, it's county. So, I'm almost 100% sure so of that. So the state side of it would be the north side of it, which is maintained well. South side the of south it. South side. County. No? It's county. The state's not on the north side. The north side is First Street. It's on the north side of the railroad. That's where she's talking about, isn't it? That's the one that's clean. But that's the not other the state. One. The state would be on the south side once you cross the railroad tracks going towards Liberty Road. No, that would be county, wouldn't it? No, because Liberty Road's a state highway. Liberty Road's a state yeah. highway? Yeah. They changed it over a few years ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, then I'll take, take <laughs> So then that would be, that would be her state. ground? Yeah. Well, let's, let's sure, I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll show you. All right. Thank you all. all right. Thank Thanks. Thank you so much. I didn't know it was going there. Okay. Next item is the second reading of the KU franchise. We did the first reading last month, and uh, my recommendation is just to request to leave it at the same as it's been all along. I know they requested a reduction, but I know funding we have to deal with on everything is going up. You want to leave it at the same as it was in the last month? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Do you have any comments? You want to leave it the same? Mm -hmm. So 3%? Okay. Mm -hmm. Would have worked before. In 20, 20 years, 3%. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Second reading dealing with the water deposits. Move to approve second reading of the order for the water deposits. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item going under new business. Item number one is the proclamation for Arbor Day. This is part of the Tree City USA and part of the sesquicentennial event and part of what we spoke with the ladies from the, group the last group. meeting. Mm -hmm. So we just need this approved, this resolution approved. It's, we've done it for the last nine or ten years. Yeah, I make a motion to approve the Arbor Day. Second. Motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same. <clears throat> Next item is a Tourism Commission board member. I would like to put up, uh, we have a vacancy on there, and this is one we've been working on for some time since back last summer with this thank particular you. individual. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Well, yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, and at this time, I'd like to put up Kendall Branding, Brandon, as a member of the Tourism Commission Board. Did you say Kendall? Kendall. Kendall. Mm -hmm. I make the motion that we approve Kendall as a member of the Tourism Board. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, seeing it by thigh. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Got a question? Mm -hmm. Now, since we've both. Do you have to be, do you have to live in the city limits of Beaverdale to be on tourism? Mm -hmm. mission? Okay, I wondered about that. I didn't know for sure. Next item is the property maintenance ordinance that we gave out yeah. last month. Everybody to look at and it would entertain a motion for a first reading so then we can have more detailed work sessions to finalize it. I make a motion we accept the first reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Mr. Favor, same path, aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. So are you planning to, for us to have a work session? Yeah. That's yeah. what I said I would love for us to be so able to. So talk yeah. about it, yeah. go yeah. over it line by line. It's, it's pretty it's in depth. too much for my ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Next item is blacktop for the parking lot at the park. Uh, we did receive a grant to help pay for that. But the downside is since the 
first quote came in, and the price of it has gone up. It was, I think, at 100 and 182,000 or 160. Now it's looking at 199,000 for it, of which we have about $90,000 grant to go towards that, and then ARPA funds to finish that off. But we'll need approval for this new quote from Scotty's. Are they doing the whole parking lot? Mm -hmm. Are they doing any up around the, like where the buses park and stuff? Are they getting all that up there? Everything. Okay. I mean, just, I was curious. Yeah. I make a motion we accept the black get accept the black top before we the grant. The motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor saying aye. Aye. Uh opposed -huh. same. Motion passes. Uh, you've got the two items on here, the police department stats and the fire department stats. I think that's something that's been in everybody's packet. Yeah. So I've got them unless you have something you want to add to that. Uh, I think you all got those last month in pack uh, our stats. So just make mention of those uh, that we did present them to the commission this year. Uh, I'm not going to read over all of them. Y'all got them for y'all. If you got any questions, just ask me about it. Um, okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we've got some policy and procedures. We've got some policies that we need to change. Part of the policies, uh, there's four policies that need to be updated. There's eight policies that have been added. Those policies updated is vehicle pursuit, prisoner transport, search and seizure of residence, stop, arrest, and search the person, and then uh, policy that is off-duty action, bias-based uh, policing, emergency call location information request, sexual assault kits, uh, suspect event identification procedures, early intervention system, community engagement, and property and evidence management. Uh, I think all of you have a list, uh, so uh, we just need a, a motion to uh, update those four and add those eight. I don't know if you want to do them one at a time or do them all, but that's what, what we're looking at. I don't see the reason why we can't do them all at one time. Them all on the policy updates. So. Huh? I would hope yeah. so. I move to approve the uh, policy updates and additions. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same. Motion passes. David, do you have anything at all, David? Uh, I got a couple things. I'm looking at the stats. You guys have the stats in your packet. If you have any questions, just reach out to me. Um, the generator grant from last year, the generator was finished and installed today. It's up and going, so it's, it's good to go. Um, last year, we applied for four separate grants, AED, four gas meters, the thermal imaging camera, as well as a battery car, uh, education tool, which all like. Um, we received all four grants. No contribution from the city, and in total between the four grants, we're looking at about twenty-five to twenty-seven thousand dollars of equipment that we got. Yeah. That's all. Good. good deal. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, next item is something new, as far as you all are aware of. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a call from Mark Lloyd with Congressman Guthrie's office last week or week before. Wanting some uh, about some information on some funding potential and possibilities through uh, federal appropriations, and I've got a resolution in here that I'd like to get passed with approval to uh, authorize actually the submission of an FY24 community project funding form. Uh, it'd be in just a little over five hundred thousand dollars, and it would be for the upgrade to the sewer line uh, Valley View subdivision. It's one that's been on our list for what, mm -hmm. how long, Larry? It should help alleviate Perfect. some of the sewer issues we have in Valley View all the way. Actually, that line goes all the way back up to the elementary school. Well, it actually it's feeders from the uh, Walmart. The one at Walmart on Cherry Lane. Yeah. So that would hopefully help alleviate some of the issues they've had with sewer issues out there as well. And open up some property because it'd be a, going from an 8 inch line to a 12 inch line. Yeah, I do need this approved so we can apply for that funding. Make a motion that we uh, approve that so we can apply for funding. <laughs> second. Have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. So it is an application. 
it's not a given. Oh, right, thing. yeah. It's an application. And it's We're going to have to start working on our infrastructure on the city. Yeah, let's get that. We, we have got to start. Well, we've done pretty good about it. I know. We've done good catching we, up. We've taken care of our I&I yeah, issues, yeah. and that's the main thing. Yeah. Okay, next item. Uh, been talking with Commonwealth engineers to get with us to look at the flooding issue on South Lafayette. Uh, we've been talking some time. They've come back. We have a general service agreement with them due to a water well project we had that they were working on out there by off Hill Street. So we can kind of slide this under that. But I do need approval to go ahead with them to negotiate for them to come out. They're going to do an assessment and uh, do some discussions, early discussions on uh, scope of work and cost estimate. And how to get the water out there, if they can. I, I move to have that approved, yeah. definitely. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, seeing right there. Uh, Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. Y'all here to speak up a little bit louder. Okay, we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next item is uh, we've been working on our computer security and uh, cyber security and what have you. And we, Shelby and I met several times with uh, it's an organization. It's called IT in a Box. It is one of them that is put together by the Kentucky League of Cities. Uh, they have gone through. It would alleviate some of the issues that our police department's having with the emails. Uh, it would give everybody an email address. And it would be a BDKY email address. Can you talk to Adam uh, no, this is a different one. It's a different one, okay. Uh -huh. uh, they've got with different silver and bronze, which a lot of them determines the uh, uh, for lack of a better word, people help helping in the middle of the night. Uh, but they did recommend that we do some of them on silver, which would be uh, the clerk, the treasurer, and Elisa. And I think code enforcement. So we keep some of them on that level, and the others would be on the bronze level, which is still they get the they get watched over in with the firewall and everything like that. Uh, one time fee would be in the neighborhood, and it's dependent on what they find out because one of the things they may have to do is do a Windows Pro upgrade on all of our computers because all of them have just the regular Windows you get when you buy the computer, mm -hmm. and they need that Pro upgrade for a commercial. And they've got a thing in here, $350 per computer to do that. But they're also wanting to met, sit down with us and look at the computers, the age of them. It may be something for another 50 100 bucks a piece we can buy a new, compu new desktop yeah, computer good good price. to replace them. We have some that are quite old. Yeah. But we're looking at a one-time fee anywhere from $9,500 to $11,400 neighborhood. And then a monthly subscription fee of about just shy of $1,600 a month. That's cheaper than that was, Yeah, the other one was 20 some hundred dollars a month, plus a 19000 yeah. plus they owned all the equipment. Right. And that's why we looked at this route. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of organizations, a lot of cities use it. This company specializes in municipality computer systems. That's what they do. They do some commercial, but 90% of their business is municipality. Right. And they got the backup and everything, so we don't we won't lose everything if oh, something yeah. goes down. That's, they that's have the backup. We'll have it set up where not all of them, but some of the computers can work remote. Uh, snowstorm, Shelby, or uh, Amy, either one could work from home and still be able to keep up with everything and do everything they do here. Uh, so that's something I would like to recommend us move forward with. Like I said, we don't have exact dollar amounts and won't have until we do all this. But if we can go ahead and get approval for this. I make a motion we approve the cyber. Second. I don't know what you call cyber. What is it called? Well, it's called a work. This is a work order to put in this new system, yeah. computer cyber system security. for cyber security is the big thing. IT in a box. IT in a box, and they take care of it all. Phone call. <laughs> We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is bids for a water line relocate on 231 Main Street between 9th and 11th, 8th and 10th. Mm -hmm. We had one bidder. This is the one where they're going to board under the, under the ground. Mm -hmm. 
And the quote is $388,950. From? Bobby Luttrell and Sons. Is that the only bid we got? The only bid we got. Make a motion we accept the bid. Second. I'm not being very talkative today. <laughs> uh, it's too hot in here. <laughs> oh, he was looking at me when he said talk. <laughs> James, is this something you, we're ready to, do we need to look into this anymore with just being one bid? Are you ready to go with it? We probably need to go through the bid before we accept anything. That's what I'm thinking. Go through the what? Go, go through the bid. bid. And look at everything. So, will you rescind that? Yes, I rescind my no, rescind motion. Mine. Yeah, I would, I would think that we would. Look. I mean, I'm not concerned about the contractor. They've done a lot of work for us, but I'm surprised there was only one bid. I was too. Well, yeah, I think there's some underlying issues there. <coughs> okay, James, do you have anything? No, I'm doing fine tonight. Sandy? I do not. I think what I would talk about, oh. we've got folks represented to talk about. All right. Nope, I'm a good shake. I'm not going to say anything tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's odd. I know. Larry? Got an update from uh, Alan Nestor on the new well. The uh, Department of the Water and the Cabinet of Health Services has come back with a determination on the fluoride treatment system. Uh, Alan is putting together the proposal, so hopefully I'll have it in a week or so. Is that the new one? Man, this thing is forever. I get to. I'm going to say it's not mine. Okay. Is that on? I haven't done that yet. All right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. We'll start right down the side and come up. <laughs> Luke? Um, my question is in regards to the uh, zoning and buffering that was going before fiscal court, I think, tomorrow. Okay, well, it's not going before tomorrow. They haven't got their ordinance put together. I know they have, but it was on their agenda to speak about tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, they moved it up to four tomorrow. And I don't know if that is a chance for anyone else to speak about it or if anyone else is going to get a copy of what's coming. Well, that's, I haven't even seen a copy of the ordinance yet. So that's why last I heard it wasn't going to be, I mean, it may be discussed, but it wasn't going to be voted on tomorrow because what's they didn't the have the ordinance. The goal, we, we looked at this, a lot of the cities in the state of Kentucky do this. The, the state statute allows a city that has planning and zoning or joint planning and zoning to do up to a five mile buffer around the cities for planning and zoning. Uh, that's something that's got really blown out of proportion from what I'm hearing. All we have talked about is a 2,500 foot buffer. Uh, five miles is more than what Beaver Dam or Harper either one needs to work with. But all it affects, it does not affect a homeowner. If you live in that quarter mile area and you want to build a garage, you build a garage. You do not have to come to planning and zoning and get a permit. You do not have to get anything from us or from the city or the planning and zoning. It only affect, it doesn't affect agriculture. If you're crop farming or cattle farming, it doesn't affect you at all. Unless, the only way it affects agriculture, it affects three things. It affects new subdivisions, it affects commercial, and it affects industrial. And the, the reason being, uh, about all it would come up with, with what's planning and zoning has for those, is setbacks. Uh, some types of businesses may require fencing. Uh, trying to do it to protect the entrances into the city, but also to protect the landowners and who have homes in those areas. So somebody can't come right next to you. Right now there is no zoning whatsoever in the county. So it protects somebody from coming up next door to your nice home and building whatever. It gives a little, there's a little guidance over it. They have to go now, by. Right now, you're saying uh, at a minimum half mile up to five miles, right? Well, all, all this is, the state will allow you up to five. All this is, the ordinance the county will be doing is, I think, 2,500 feet. Right now, you're um, running down 231. Right. You've annexed everything on 231, not touching, just the road itself, out to the Hucks, right? Right. Roughly. So that means everything off of that 2,500 feet from center line. Right. So anything that runs 231 all the way down is subject to this? For commercial, industrial, or uh, subdivision? Obviously, this is me directly uh, driving. That's, uh, mm -hmm. that's my main concern, because we being bought out of city limits, we're under less regulation. Um, and I'd like to read it further before anything goes, obviously. Well, that's why I was hoping to have an ordinance already in, or ready to be read, and I found out it wasn't finished yet. So Who's writing the ordinance? Uh, county attorney. Okay. Huh? That's, but that's what it's trying to do. Just 
protect the entrances to the city a little bit and the homeowners that are up and down that stretch. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to some places and see there's been some stuff come in. Like in your case, with the driving, it wouldn't really affect because you'll meet your setbacks. Your sidelines are 25 feet off the property line. The front's 25 and back's 10, I believe. Uh, we're just trying to protect some of the property owners and, and like I say, the city aesthetics. We've got a lot of people coming in. And yeah. We want it to look good when they get here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On to your next. Yeah. Well, speaking of city aesthetics, that's exactly what we're speaking of. Um, with people coming into the amphitheater, it's not looking very pretty outside off of 231. So last month's meeting, I guess it was January, February's, I said you would work on meeting with a civil engineer about consulting and seeing what could be done there. Do we have an update on that? I'm going to get an update. Well, she, wasn't in, she wasn't in here when we announced it. Outside. Oh, okay. We just you were outside. We already talked about that. We have a civil engineer coming. That we've got a, to do moving it. forward. That we have a general service agreement with. We got a name? Commonwealth Engineers out of Bowling Green. And a date that they're coming? We haven't got that yet. I don't That's, know that. We're working with their schedules right now. They just finished or are in the process of finishing up the project for us with one of the water wells. And they're getting their guy together to come in to kind of do a quick overview of the site, get an idea of what uh, kind of scope of work would be required and the cost estimate. That's progress. Yeah, it all moves slowly when you're government. You know that of all people. That's, that's the first good sign we've had three months. Well, conversation with the civil That's the first good sign we've had three months. I know, but it comes back to it. Like I've said before, when you have a piece of property in the floodplain, you've got to be prepared to get water. Oh, I mean, I'm prepared. I'm still open. No, months. I know, but. But okay. it's not just me, the facts. No, I, I, the I'm. The theater is gorgeous on the hill. I love it. I support it. I support our city. But when the rest of it is slowly but surely looking terrible because of the non-attention to those issues. That's the only reason I'm here. I absolutely support. But it's going to come time something has to give, so I'm appreciative that y'all have actually got in contact with the engineers. And did that just happen this week? No, we've been talking over the last month period. Well, you told me the last week that y'all get in contact with yeah. them when you have talked to somebody, and I never heard of them. Well, I was trying to get a date, a firm date on when they were going to be able to do something. And the month before that, it was talking to the farmers, and I never got a call back from anybody on that either. So it's not just me. I represent a group of, you know, 10 or 15 people. So we'll hopefully have another update the next meeting. Hopefully before then. Hopefully before then. All right. Hopefully. I'll take it. Susie? I'm going to skip over. Okay. We'll go on. I'll go on back. Skip over. All right. <coughs> Sir? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Y'all have already Cherry talked Lane. a little bit about the drainage and sewer system over on Cherry Lane. Mm -hmm. uh, now, every time it rains, the sewer will back up. Uh, fill up at my house it'll fill up my bathtub and I'm sitting there breathing in sewer smell and it that to bleach sanitize my tub every time after it rains of course during the rain I can't even use my bathroom or do nothing it's been going on for years uh, back January 3rd when we got that rain 3 30 in the morning I was up it backed up it flooded out my whole house I'm drenching sewer water trying to save wherever I can to my house moving furniture around because I don't have money to replace it and it, it flooded out every single room. Then I had to live with inhaling, breathing that sewer in for days till I got all that carpet ripped up out of my house. I'm living on a hard concrete floor right now. I can't afford carpet. My homeowner insurance won't pay for it because they say it's a city issue. Well, city insurance came and looked at, they're not gonna pay for it either. On all I'm asking is help cheap carpet. You know, if I get a loan to replace my carpet, this spring when we get all this rain again, what happens if it does again to ruin all this new carpet? I had to borrow money for Do you have a one-way valve in your sewer system? Well, back in 2016, I had a guy come install a flap out of there in that. It's supposed to only go it's be, supposed it's to do that. It's only supposed to be able to go out. It's not supposed to be able to come yeah. in. If it's coming in, somebody didn't install a flap right. Well, back in 2016, after I got that done when we had bad rain, my neighbors around me, it flooded their houses out and it saved mine. Saved your my neighbor beside me, it got hurt so bad they even had to cut out part of her walls. But if now it's flooded yours again. But it, this time it got me and got my neighbor across the road. 
they had to rip out their carpet. But I got pictures here. I got pictures go last year. My yard won't even grow grass because it stays waterlogged and you know and mud hole all around my pool. I spent over a thousand dollars last spring trying to get dirt up there just to help and try to get some grass growing there. Didn't do a bit of good. And I got pictures of that. I got pictures of street now how it's awful and pictures of my home. And all I ask the insurance like when they come look at it, I said, I ain't asking for nothing. I ain't asking to get my furniture replaced. I ain't, you know, asking for expensive carpet, cheap carpet. Just help me out. You know, I can't afford to replace it. I'm on a concrete floor right now. And I, I can't afford to replace it. And I just ask for help. You know, I pay insurance. I pay taxes. I pay sewer. And nobody don't want to help me. What's your address? 1303 Mark, Cherry Lane. Do you know anything about the R insurance? But I want y'all to have these pictures. Do you know anything pictures. about R insurance? Tim Cook. Tim Cook. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. and, and, and you know, I was, right now I got my cap off outside. The several rains we had after that January 3rd, it has been coming up, and I got sewer nasty in my front yard from my door right now where it's coming outside. But I'd rather have it outside than in my house. Like I said, I'm tired of breathing that every time it rains. And that smell of And again, that's why I ask you about the flap, because flap yeah. supposed to prevent that from happening. And you know, that's a hell of a hazard. I live right down the road from him. It's not just him. Jordan Head was here last year. Right. Or last month. Uh, it's all down 1320 or down Cherry Lane. Well, it's I'll not even Cherry Lane. I own the farm that's up there with a called Power I own that 103 acres. I know there's a water. And and they they smell like like I don't know where we can send it though. I will. I'll hold off that. I have already talked to many neighbors on all these streets, and everybody's about fed up with them. And the fact of it is, it's not just happening here in the last. One year, two years. My husband, Brent Hamilton, I had guys come out to try to fix my driveway. My driveway is all broke up. The concrete that just was just put down, or blacktop, and to that, it's all crumpled up from where the water stands. And my husband tried, I don't know how many times, the city come out there and decided they would dig, they, well, what do you want us to do? I said, I want you to fix this. Because it does not drain. I said, put a drain in. We can't afford that. And I said, okay, well, fix it to where it'll at least flow good. And he, and he came over there and they dug a little, I got pictures too. I got pictures where the last year my husband was able to go to Florida with us before he died, he was digging up, shoveling mud from where the water and everything had to be. It was just, it's unreal down there. And like I said, the guy laughed at me when he said, well, I, I tried to point out some things to him and he said, well, I'm just doing what I'm told. And I guy, said, that I guy said, sitting right here. Is that who? No, it wasn't you. Oh, yeah, it was. No, it wasn't yes, you. It was. <laughs> it was. I'll tell you who it was. It was um, Maria Hughes' uh, brother-in-law from uh, Horse Branch. That's who it was. We came, up there, we came up there and done the dishes. And we talked yes, about you had them to come down, but it wasn't uh -huh. you that come down yeah, with the tractor and done it. Do you, you did not. Never, yes, I am correct. And we never say that we could not approach them. The, wa yeah. the water's flowing. Sir, he was not there. Where is the water And I'm telling you, and they said that when they couldn't do anything. I said, the guys, they stopped about like from here to right there where they dug the ditch. And I said, well, can you not go ahead? Because there's another little ditch that goes out this way. He said, well, we can't dig into his yard. You're going to have to go over and beg him. I said, okay, there's a sign right there on this pole that says speed limit whatever i said it's funny when you guys want to come on in the ditch and the property y'all own it but then when it's throw back at you to do something oh we don't own it that's yours i'm just telling you my whole place it, it is just broke up from the water where it, uh, dwight raymond lives right up here and it just drains all right into my it comes right down your driveway yes Heck yes. Know, right now, we're getting all there coming down on our end. And what's so bad about it, the mud is so deep. I'm sorry, I don't know about you, but I cannot afford to power wash every time. My water bill with just me and my special son is over $100. I can't do it. We're living on $13,000 a, a year right now, me and my son. Because I know I met with Brent one time on the water yes, coming this down the before street. I, and yes. in, into the, and it's been going on for years, and it gets just keeps getting tabled over and tabled over. And yes, you helped me, and I'm not saying that you did not talk to me. I'm not putting you down at all, but nothing is being done. And I'm telling you, it's my my place is not even worth. Everything is just cracked up and broke up. 
And right now, like I said, it's the, the mud is that deep. And I just keep letting it grow because I can't afford to fire wash it. I can do it. I'm able. And I'm willing. But when that bill comes in, I'm not. And we're sick of it. We're sick of it. When you come down there, any get that rest, well, but it's a it's a big heavy run. No, sir. We had it's flooding constantly. And from up from where that lake is, back behind me, it goes down both sides. And I tell you, I was at the point, and I think I told you, I said, well, I'm fixing to have somebody come down here. I, I got a guy that's got a bulldozer, and I said, I'm fixing to bulldoze all around my house, and I'm going to pile the mud up, and then, then you can worry about where the water goes. And they just kind of laughed at me. Well, that's the problem we're experiencing in a lot of these subdivisions. To be point, just point blank, they weren't put in properly to begin with. When that's they not my there. fault. No, I, I know. That's Well, that's not the city's Didn't fault Didn't you always either. get a grant of some kind for the sewage and water and all that? A big, huge grant? Where's that going? I mean, that's just what I was told. I'm not, I, I just want y'all to verify that for me. Yeah. I don't know. We did get one for a sewer extension. For where's, the, where's the money at? <laughs> we had not got it yet. You hadn't got it yet. So is this going to be on the number one list when it does come? No, this is for another neighborhood subdivision. So, so, so who do we have to be for our neighborhood to become? Do we got to be a luxury? Do we got to be a, I don't know, name off some more names. Who do we have to be to get our neighborhood? That's not how the city operates. That's never how the city's operated. But I have a question. When that water comes down the street in front of the whites, mm -hmm. crosses Cherry Lane and goes right down your driveway, the only way to fix that would be to cut your driveway and have a right now it's all breaking up. I don't care what you do to it. But but the thing of it is, is there fall to put a ditch in to even go to Hickory Drive? Because your your house is lower than the road. Yes, west the west side of her house. Because they stack the instead of when they go bring the black top in, it wouldn't be. But instead of taking it up or doing whatever, they keep stacking it, the black top, and, it, and yeah, it's it's what yeah they keep paving it over and over. And yeah, my my uh, driveway's lower. Yeah, but it was lower even with the first. It was lower, but it's a whole lot lower now. Because I can show you the, the steps oh, yeah. of the blacktop. But it's awful. I mean, I'm not exaggerating even a little bit. And well, there are pictures of different rains. And I've got pictures. I mean, you see how bad every time it rains it gets. Do what? Yes, my husband passed away two years ago, September from COVID. And he and he's done he he begged the city. He's had him out there many times and, and you, you were one of them. And could never get nobody to even look our way. Yes he did. He passed away about probably a little over a year after he did. I took care of him until he died. That's the thing. I, he's a good man, and I, I mean, we, not, we may not be the uptown people around here, but I tell you what, Brent Hamilton, you couldn't have found a better man than him. I don't care who you are, and I think we deserve something, and it would flow a little bit better if they could go over into that next door neighbor's yard and cut up through there and then clean that one ditch out, but I was told that I would have to go over there and beg him to see if I can do that. Who did you say told you that? So where do you live? Ferlin. Ferlin. I don't know his last name. Lindsay. Lindsay. That's who told me. And he laughed at me. Because I questioned him about something and he laughed at me and he said, Well, I'm just doing what I told. Because I, 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 right now, I, did, I just found out about this meeting. And so I didn't get to prepare like I should have, but I have called the city. You can ask them up there. I have called and called and called to ask to talk to people, and I get the same thing every time. Well, they're not here. They're not here. They're not here. I'll give them the message. No comments. No nothing. I mean, I thought I always got a message when you had called. How Nobody's long called me. How long has it been? How long? How long has it been since you called? Last rain we had. I, 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 yes, I just I, yeah, I called and I told him I said if they want to see what's going on, it was pouring down right. I said tell them to come down here right now, right now. And they said. I talked to Brent, but I was raised. I was talking to Brent before. Oh no no, this happened before. No no no. Brent was too sick. Brent was sick for two years in a row with heart and, and cancer and COVID. No, that, yeah, that was a long time ago. But I'm saying just this last rain we had. It was so bad. The whole back was flooded. The whole yard was flooded. The whole—it was horrible. And so I thought, well, you know, pictures aren't doing no good. 
So how about let's just call them and have them come down and take a look and maybe see where the water's coming from. Couldn't get nobody to come down. So that's what I usually do if I'm in town when we have a big flood. I go and drive. Well, it, was just a, it wasn't a, a, it was just, just a rain. Let me rephrase that. When we have a substantial right. amount of rain, because I live on 4th, and so we have a I've waited in it up to my rear before. Right. <laughs> um, but it, when it does that, I try to get out and drive around some. If I'm in town, which I usually am, and I go out probably when I shouldn't, but anyway, I do. But I've been called to the <laughs> other side of the street, but not your side of the street. No. It's, it's so... I have I have called the city. I know I've had them out there two or three times this year, or well, at the end of last year, first of this year, was only in March. But um, and yeah, and like I said, there's more people besides us too. Like I said, we just found out about the meeting, so that's well. But your your issue is not sewer; it's just the water drain. I think it's drainage, but I don't know if it's because of the sewer or, or if you can go all the way down through Thompson, from right back around Thompson, Duval, and all that. You can see where all the water is just. Yeah, it comes right down. I know where it comes yeah. down behind you all. Yeah, it's drainage. That whole valley down. You do realize there. when it gets to Duval Road, when the water gets to Duval Road. It stops being the city's problem, it becomes the county problem. So if it's backing up because of what's on the other side of the road. I don't know about the other side. Yeah. I'm talking about where Thompson Drive on this I know, side. I know what you're talking about. But if the water has nowhere to go, it's going to start backing up. Somebody needs, city and county needs to get together then. It's the only thing I can figure but that's out. Probably, see, that's private property. We can't as a city go on It's not the problem. county, sir. Come, come, I told you. I, I've called several times. I grew times. up there and I've lived there a lot longer than you, ma'am, because I live right up on the I bet you field. wouldn't guess my age in a heartbeat. But anyway, that's I've lived there since 1964. The the yeah. same it's the direct. It's the county, and you say where you lived and you lived on your street. The gentleman had the same issue. That's their neighbor that was here. You're giving the same runaround. But I do no, live Nikki, there. Nikki, Nikki, no, we'll take care no of this right now. Thinking. No, let's. Get a solution or a proactive thing. It's the same thing. We're trying. We can't look. Well, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Okay. Well, I want to say something real quick because I feel like I communicated with you really well. And if you think that I didn't for the past meeting, it's got nothing to do with communication. It's got to do with something by no, doing something. No, it has to do with communication. Uh, no, Paul told me he would let me know about the civil engineer before this next meeting. It has nothing to do with me and you talking about the meetings and. Go look at this area. He specifically and who's said going to do what? Meeting, that he would let me know about the civil engineer before this meeting. And I, and last thing I want to say. Well. My husband, like I said, has been to you guys a million times one. I was at the point, finally, this last time that we had the rain, I got a guy that, like I said, would come up and would dig all the way around my house if I wanted to. Good thing I didn't because there's a gas line right there because the gas people just came by just in right in time. Because I would have had it done. I don't care where the water goes after that because it's not, it's, it's ruining my property. It's literally ruining it. So, and the times that I've been out here, it was a lot of it was on private property. That's the problem we're that's, on the back side. It was coming up from um, Old Hartford Road. What's Stewart? Stewart? She works for DC. It can't be. <laughs> It was private crazy. property because, yeah, well, then, but like I Melissa, told them, you know, where you're all, I think lives. you're all talking about two different. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about yeah. the back side of her house. She's talking about the front. What's your address? I'm talking 1320 about Cherry 1320. Yours is 1303. 1303. And yours is 1320. Okay. I got it. Yeah, we could have got a whole. You know where Melissa lives? Melissa. Melissa Bartlett. Um, she's Drake. Melissa Drake. She lives. I've been to her house several times. We've looked at several times. Water, it comes down off of well, the only thing they done when they come and dug that ditch was made a big hole for, for water to stand in for mosquitoes to be a million times worse than what they already are. Yeah. That's all they done. I don't it, recall it didn't, anyone it didn't do a bit of good the because the, the ditch is the same all the way across there. And it ain't like they even kind of tilted it to where it would maybe go off in the neighbor's way. It just It's just one big ditch about that deep. <laughs> It's all Did you done. say your address is? Mine is 1320 Cherry Lane. And I hope Brent would be proud of me for coming up and standing up here because he was such a quiet man and didn't no. cause any problems at all. And uh, just talking about ditches and everything, on my ditch, my backyard, on the other side of the ditch, you got the spectrum, got their stuff, the electric company got their stuff there. Well, a couple years ago, the electric company done a lot of work on theirs. I don't know. They drove through that ditch stuff like that. They got the ditch halfway filled in. The half the side is it's pretty much not a ditch no more. Related to everything, it's down there. It needs to be re-dug out back there, and it probably will help some. 
know. That's but, behind your house? Yeah, behind my house. There's a ditch that runs behind my house. Yep. Do you know where Barbara Bunch lived? Mm -hmm. That property there has not, nobody has been on that property in, I'd say a good 10 years probably. Brent mowed it because the yard was getting up so high that we was afraid of snakes coming over in there. So he would go over there and mow that yard. Well, now there's a big tree up back down there. And it's still laying there where we had that storm that last time. And she, I, I don't guess she's made to do anything. I don't know if she still owns it. But I don't know what's does, wrong with... Does she live on Duval? Barbara Bunch? She, she did. She did live on Duval. Not on Duval. Not on Duval and Cherry. I thought she lived on Duval. She lived two lanes down, or two houses down from me. And Melissa's is at an angle from Barbara's. Okay. Well, where Barbara's is... There's a big, huge tree down the back, and then that back ditch there, it's all, it's just, it's just a mess. It needs to be taken care of. I don't know whose job it is, but we need something done. And we well, need a way, petition. If y'all want a petition, we can do that. That one with the bunch house. Do with, what? With the bunch house, with, and that's one thing we talked about tonight we're working on. But with that complaint, code enforcement can do something. Now. It's, it's pitiful. It's pitiful. But... Uh, do y'all want a petition? I mean, that, we can get a petition there on Cherry Lane. I mean, no. it, it, it wouldn't be hard to get one up for everybody to sign it. We've talked about it. We've, I mean, something needs to be done. I mean, David, call, call scene. They just issued a complaint on that Barbara Bunch property. So we need, we've got something going with it. Oh, you've already been talked about it? Okay. We've already got something working on it. That back ditch, if y'all come down there, come to my house, you're all welcome. Come back there and just see everything that's overgrown coming up from that uh, Steve Gary's. Uh, lake up there. It's all grown up and then it floods too. Is, is the back ditch between you and the houses that are on Duval Road, is that the, what you're calling the back ditch? No, I'm talking about the my property and back where Thompson owns all that property. I'm in between there. It's coming off of the Old Hartford Road where it was on the other side. Right. Down from Old Hartford Road. Right. But every time all that, every bit of it just I don't know. But like I say, I, I feel like I made Brent, Brent proud and <coughs> Hopefully I'll do something. One thing that we did tonight with our first reading of this property maintenance, we can do stuff about yeah. the brush and stuff. Oh, the brush and See, tree down and stuff like that. Sure. Our ordinances are set up. Well, how come you can't dig that ditch like what I asked him to do? We're not supposed to dig on private property on yeah. someone else's property. Then why is there a sign that says... No, we can uh, dig it in front of... We can dig it along the street, but I thought you were wanting to dig no, down... No, I'm talking there. about in the ditch. There's a, there's a light pole that's there. Okay? Who, who said you could put a light pole there? Yeah, that'd be a utility company issue. No, I'm just asking, whose property is it? Okay, and then there's a sign, wait a minute, there's a sign that says, go slow, children, I don't know. That sign's there, whose who sign is that? The city would have a right of way at the bottom of the ditch. Then, then I, I feel like you have a right of way to, to, to clear that out. But I thought you were talking about coming up along the street and then turning and going towards the back of your house. That's what no, I thought you meant. that's where it's all, well, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it besides me and Barry. Emory, that would have to be done that way, but no. The other way that he knows I'm talking about, you go down that way in front of Matt DeWeese's house, right beside Barbara Bunch, there is a ditch down through there. And that needs to be all cleaned out, but in front of Matt DeWeese's, there is no ditch, there is no drain, there is no nothing. I asked them, I said, can you not put a drain in here? Nope. What'd you tell me? <laughs> and it costs too much? I never told you it costs too much. No. Never. Private property, we're not allowed to go. But, but if this is I don't know if, that, if it's, street, that's what he's saying, it's private property. We're not allowed then to do I need to take the, Do I need to take the sign down and come forward to the city hall? Again, I don't know. I, okay, I, that's that's what what I have been that's here what so long. You'll see exactly I'm where you're at. Yeah. I'm done. Y'all got my message. That's why I got your. No, that's guy. I just want to make sure we can, we can walk on a ditch along the street. Uh, but I, I, a little, just if you just cut a hole right there beside the blacktop, maybe that might help water drain a little bit better. I don't know. I'm just saying, if the water could get from this point past my neighbor to that ditch that goes that way and then clean all that out from the back, that might would help. I'm just saying. When you say the ditch that goes that way, is it parallel with the street or is it like between houses? You're there's a ditch between the houses, between Barbara Bunch and Matt DeWeese. But it's already there. The ditch is and already the there. The ditch is already there. Yes. Yes. It just it needs to be cleaned out. I don't know who's, it may be Barbara's deal. I don't know. But all I know is, is there's no ditch between, there is no drain system at all between Matt DeWeese and Barry Emerson. There's nothing. Nothing. So, and I like you. You're looking at me awful mean, but I'm just saying, I like you. You're saying words that I did not say. I never said it cost too much money. I told you if it was on the Well, maybe the that way, was the Furlan guy. I told you if it was on the He was way, very cocky. We would ditch anything. 
We cannot well, private property. We apologize for that, and that will be addressed. We're not allowed to private property. Well, no, you've been very good to me. I will not. I will not say that in front of anybody in here. They say they have to go to you, and that's what they was telling me. All I know is, is he was very cocky, very arrogant, and and he laughed at me like I was just. And like I, my, my husband has has fought for this for so long, and I think I said well, you you have been out there too. So I'm not I'm not making up a story. So. I come out and get some work for you. Well, I don't, I don't even know if my driveway is even. Do you know the ditch she's talking about? Do you know the ditch, James, that she's talking about? Is yeah. It, is it a, a private property or is it on the city? I believe, it, I believe it that it, it turns into private property because what happens, it's up about, it's not 100 yards above her house on up Cherry Lane up to the it would have been be to the west or whatever and there's a ditch there but it it runs around behind the properties and i think that when i talked to brent and i that's been about i forgot when that was he was still alive he's so alive and well ago. it's over two years ago that ditch he told me that the issue then i think it ran on somebody else that's the side that ditch. ditch. That's yeah, the side that's ditch. That's between Matt yeah, Dewey's that's the ditch that we and uh, really don't need open to turn well, it's not going to do no good if the <laughs> ditch that Furlan yeah, dug, because <laughs> it's not going me, nowhere. He showed me where the water ran down, and it was coming across the road. It didn't have anywhere to go. Either. That's where the drain would come in good. But on, on a bad rain, is what he told me. It's not just bad rains. I, I promise you, I can call you. That was the yeah. Because uh, he talked to me about cleaning that we had had a real bad one. He was telling me about get out there cleaning myself. it up and over the Corvette. But I, don't, I remember talking to yeah. him. I, remember you I didn't remember it being that long. Is this any of that the ditch? Because when you put your address in, that's what comes up on Google Maps. His house came up. No, I don't know whose property that is. Wait a minute. No, that's down up, up toward him. That's what's coming up. I'm over here. I'll just, I know where you live. Oh, okay. I like, no, I'm on that side over there. I know there. where you live. But, but I was trying to get a visual up. from this. Yeah, it's on up the other direction. Up, up the street. Yeah, that's across the street. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm on the other side. Yeah. So I know where you live, and I thought, well, that didn't look like anything as to where you live. Is there a tile under? There's not a tile under your driveway, is there? Nope. There's nothing. Nothing. There's no tile on there. Actually, I don't even know if there's a tile on any of them. Do you? They got tile there's, got tile. Tile. there's a tile right there. They used to they used to pour concrete driveway and put that tile in there. Yeah, I got a concrete. It was, it was way too small. Oh yeah, it's like, like, see that's and I, and that, well, probably Brent, run into uh, It's worse than all my driveway, my driveway where it runs over and just yeah. and I got gravel on the other side of my driveway and the ditch there where it just washed down in that ditch. Now I will say Brent built a or he yeah, had yeah, a new they, driveway they, paved and, that and he put a tile under it. The, yeah, but the but the main driveway does not have a have a tile. Okay. Well, I'm going to come over and look at it. So I, 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 just, I would appreciate it. Oh, no. I have no problem. I appreciate it very, very much. Like I said. I shouldn't. And they, you know, like they told me, it may have got stuck open. But still, I shouldn't have to worry about that if I had one Okay, through, I'm done. You know. Thank you all. But all, all, all I'm asking, you know, can I get help on replacing my car in my home? I, I'm happy with cheap. I just want help. Let's reach out to the insurance company. Hey, sick. Huh? She has already been up. Yeah. I know, but I would like to know what her. I mean, I ain't asking nothing is. fancy, expensive. I, I'm happy with cheap as possible. Just help me put carpet back in my home. So your insurance said it was the city. It's a city and issue. Our insurance cover. said what? They're just blaming on as you know, unusual rain, no matter rain, but it's not unusual when we're getting it all the time. But you look at my picture. I got one back in January last year, June last year, July last year, where it backed up to the top front of my voice can't control that. Do you need help? And this every time. It's not unusual. I gotta go. I got a special sign at home. Two seven zero three six three six six. Okay. Thank you all.
you, Tracy. But I appreciate y'all just looking at the pictures. I mean, in my home, that's I'm outside my yard. Yeah. And it's well, we'll run across with the insurance company. And see what's your phone number? 270 977 5699. I think my phone number is on here, too. Oh, okay. Yep. So, if I just get any type of help, I really appreciate it. Like I said, I can afford it. I'm living on a concrete floor right now to my whole house. Did you want to take these with you? No, I, I can make more copies. I can do them with y'all can see. You know, I said the pictures inside my house, my yard. Does this have to be yeah, I got them separated. I was looking to see if they had no date. Well, the date's on the one where it backed up my tub on it, has the date on it. But, but right here, this is my tub. Every time, it, it stinks. I had to smell it. My, and this is just times I was at home. Every many times I come home from work, I had seen stain, and I could smell it. You know, I walk the door about long be But it, every time, it's just a decent amount of rain. This was in July last year. That was in uh, March of last year, and that was in January of last year. But like I said, and they had more than that. I just wasn't at home to catch it. And you're on the same side. I'm on the opposite side of the road. You're on the opposite side. That's what Brent and I talked about. Yeah. Coming down. Right now, this is right but I don't have the money to pop the power horse down. I just, I just left it. I've been leaving. It's just that bad. But right here, how my yard floods. All these pictures have my yard floods. I think it rains. And right there, when January went flooded out my house. Well, I thought the there. conversations with Brent that when the water was coming down the street, crossing the street, and right down the driveway into the garage. It would see. Well, it, 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 I don't know. I don't think that's the way water, it's it happening. I don't know. Like I said, I've had a million pictures of that. I don't know how to come out of water. All right, thank you. Oh, so much. You look familiar. Who are you? You David Johnston? No. 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 <laughs> oh, Charles Patton. I knew that. Oh, wow, I said David Johnston. I think Brent Long said too. Is this your front door here? Yeah. Got all this taken from you know at my you know outside my house there in my yard my front backyard out even down the very social street front and like I said this different times when it rains I mean it just and you look at water being all around this floor I'm afraid it's going to wash up all of my pool. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like I said, I think it's going to rain tomorrow. Well, that's what I'm saying. 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 Well, I know it's not a good answer, but it, it's all I can give you. The whole thing was designed terrible. Uh, the whole subject. And it's not alone. It's not the only one we've had to do with it. As far as ground, the surface old system there, do you think all the new stuff that built all around it? You know, between the new subdivision, you got Walmart and the restaurants there, and all that flows that direction. Well, Walmart, Walmart came out of that. And a lot of it, the way that lake's set up, and coming down the back there, and again, it's on private property. There's nothing we can do as far as going out there. But with this new COVID, this new property maintenance, because it talks about uh, water flow, and drain, you know, wheat and growth and stuff that impede water. We can do some water with that that we couldn't, we can't do right now with the way our owners are in. Yeah, the tree down on the bunch of properties. Because you know, so we run into issues with it. Ours is a nuisance right now. So well, you and I think that's a nuisance, but the guy that owns it may not think it's a nuisance because it doesn't affect it. And that's why we're trying to get stuff a little more clarified. Yeah, I, I, I've been lucky and got sick over it. You know, you that sewer smell in my house and stuff like that. You know, all these years, like I said, really a health hazard had to live in that stuff. And like I said, when, when that happened, I was covered in trying to save my home. Man. You know, you don't know how to feel when you sit there doing everything you can trying to save your home. You can't. I sit there crying. Four o'clock morning, I sit there crying. But I'm losing everything I and I don't have money to replace it. What do I do? I mean, it, 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 I know how it is. We lived on Goshen Road in our basement place. And I sit down crying on the stairs one day. And I'm like, you ain't got time to sit down and cry. You got to get your butt to work. So I know. I know. No, I live there by myself. Like, I'm trying to pick up all my heavy furniture, trying to get it away as far as I can from it. And it's, it's awful. It's a nightmare every morning. That morning. Mine wasn't like that. Yeah. 
I don't have that. I'd say it's I'd say it's like, you got to do something with this. And then, of course, I said, covered in. Of course, I don't have a bathroom to use. I can get myself halfway clean, and I spend all day with the steam cleaner. I kept on trying to suck it up out of carpet all I missed work that day. I thought I said, I can't come in and try and get it all sucked up. I said, in my house, smell like syrup for over a week and a half. I said, there had a little bit of smell. Smell it every night, and I mean, it stinks so bad. And I, you know, I finally got all the carpet ripped up, sprayed bleach all over the place, all over the water, and try and get rid of the smell. And, yeah, you've been all over With that, to a brand. Okay, because I've been up the street. I've seen water where you're talking about the water coming over the road and running down the drops, but it just with the house being lower than the road. He didn't want to put a drain. You know, cut out the drive, like a grate or something, which I get. I won't take up no more time, but like I said, if y'all can't help me, I really appreciate it. Like I said, I am cheap, cheap as possible. I will be there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll go right here at the front table. Okay, we're back. So, here we go. All right. So, I received a letter of thank you for the way you came to set I didn't see it until Friday. It was sent to my son that my name is on the letter that our property, our farm on 231, is going to be annexed into the city. That I, that's how I read it. I'm not sure that's what the intent was. I think I spoke to you on the phone, Larry, when I was at the um, the office asking questions because when I got the letter, I went to ask questions as to what it meant if you were planning on annexing in the farm. Because the way I read it, with all these coordinates, it, it looked to me like that's what mm -hmm. you are doing. I'm not 100% sure that's what you're doing. But that's what I think is planning to be done here with our farm. Yeah, <coughs> what that was done, we were approached, it's been a couple of years ago now, about some issues with some of the landowners out there that was having septic issues mm -hmm. and was asking about the possibility of being able to get sewer run out there. And at the time, I told him, I said, it would be difficult to do because it's expensive. We're looking at probably close to a million dollars. Mm -hmm. But since then, uh, we were able to secure some funding. It came down through federal government, and it's for sewer expansion and to help people that were in a situation where they was having sewer problems. And I s spoke with some of you all, and I guess I don't know where the misunderstanding was because I've talked to some of you all here, and I was under the impression you were okay with this. No, I didn't. I didn't see you, but some of them I would see out of places. All right. I would I, see that was was okay with this and was interested in getting it to get the sewer out there, and we've secured we've secured about right at the million dollars, a little actually a little more to get it taken care of and get it run, but to extend the sewer it has to be annexed into the city. Yours comes in because it's in front of it all of it. They will not let us quarter annex right up a road. Well, but haven't you annexed other properties that aren't? I mean, there are plenty of people it, between here and Beaver Dam that don't want to be annexed, and they're not. No. 231 had infrastructure that belonged to the city with the sewer force mains. We can do that. But there is nothing along, no city utility along Perry Washington Road or Drive, whatever it is, that we could annex right up the road. So we had to take that in order to get it. Of course, you get the farm exemption, so your property taxes are minimal on what yours will be. Uh, but that's that's how this all came about trying to help some people were having issues with septic and again the ones i talked to i thought was okay with it and some of the others that i've talked to on the phone i thought we had the majority that's what they wanted and that's what we were going for well i guess i'm concerned because no one called me no one talked we've owned it for three years so when you were building no one approached you about no i mean yeah, Miles, you told me that. Well, uh, yeah, he kind of said something about it, which I said I wasn't really interested in. That's the only thing I know. No, I knew that you all weren't interested in it, but well, again, we had to do it to get to the subdivision. Well, you had to do it, but don't you think it would have been nice to have called me or my son? I mean, I, I'm just, I'm confused as to how this could happen, and there's a vote coming up in one week, and I just found out about it. And I don't understand what you plan to do with the farm. I think you told me, Larry, that there would be some questions, or there would be um, all the questions. All the questions will be at the meeting on the sixteenth. But you're going to. You mean on the twentieth next 20th, month? Twentieth. Because you said that 
we could ask questions as to the plan for the engineer where they plan to put the sewer line. I was going to try to have a map here showing you where the sewer line was projected to be, which would be on the right of way up here in Washington and the right of way of 231. Okay, so when you say right of way, do you mean on my property? The, the street right away. The street right Okay, right. so, but so the I'm street. across from 231 right now from where we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. The sewer so line going right across Force the main line. Side. It's force main. Force main, yeah. The uh -huh. station's up there by the rest of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. This would be a gravity line that would run from down Prairie, Washington to 231, and then across two, down 231, down towards the Cates Hill Loop with another pump right there to pump it into that force main that's across the road. Yeah, but what I'm not aware of is exactly how that's going to affect our property and the lines from the road. And because I would have liked to have had the opportunity to see the plans or to know what people were planning to do with one entire stretch and the other. I mean, I'm talking the entire front of our property and the entire side of our property up here in Washington. I mean, that's half. I mean, it's one way and the other way. That's our entire property. But I don't think, I think Perry Washington's going to be on the opposite side from them, isn't it? No. Yeah, 874 feet of road frontage on 231. Yeah, I'm talking about on Perry Washington. I think it's, but I think it's on the opposite side of. Well, the water oh, line's the, already the going. Blanket ship? No, no, no. no. The opposite side of Danks? On the Danks, Danks side? On the Danks side of the road. Is that where it's going to be? I think that's where the sewer line's going, because I think the water's on your side, isn't it? I think it is. The water is on my side. So, so why does it have to even include my property if you're going to put it over on Ima Danks? It's not going to be on Ima Danks. It's going to be on the right of way of the highway of the street. What do you call it right of way? Because on the opposite side of the road, be Ima Danks. Well, the the county's got right now. It's a county street, and the county's got so wide of a right of way through there for it to set on. So it'd be I in know, the, I know. It'd yeah, be in the know. county. But when you do that, don't you have so many feet past that right of way? So you twenty foot from the center of the road, correct? I don't know what that particular one that one is. Okay. Right away on Pure Washington is 60 feet. Okay, I was thinking it was wider than that, but I wasn't so going to say because I don't know. 60 feet? Yeah. 30 feet the center. 30 from the center. 30 from the center. 60 feet. 30 feet from the center each way. Which you're right at the where the water line is. Mm. Well, it has to be so many feet from the water line. That's why I'm thinking it's going to be on the other side of Pure yeah, Washington. Be on, on her side of Pure Washington. It wouldn't even involve us. It would on 231. Well, on 231 it would. Well, it's going to take the whole front. Yeah, now that, you're talking about going from, we're, we're across 231. It goes from your right Washington all the way Kind of in the bottom of the ditch, basically. Hill, and then crosses over. Very neat mm -hmm. And the reason we did that, we could have got around without doing that, but with the funding we were able to get, we can go down there and that opens up about 400 acres for future development uh, all the way back to Apple House Road and all gravity right to there. Which no, just I makes it... Well, I think you might see, be surprised what kind of development may start happening with all this stuff going on in Bowling Green. Well, but they're starting to look here to live here. Well, they may be, but they're not going to develop what's behind Case Hill Loop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Silver Subdivision, all that area, yeah. That's where they're, they're wanting to develop. They're not in the city, though. Huh? They're not in the city. No, but they could still be, they could still use the sewer. Be annexed in as they come in and, and develop. the sewer. For development. Yeah. I mean, the sewer runs all the way out to the parkway. Force main, it's, that's the problem, getting the pumps to pump into the force main. Right. But still, with this annex, you are talking higher taxes for the rest of our lives and our children's and grandchildren's lives. Well, yeah, yours, and I did have it down one time. And, and, yes. No, it wouldn't affect your water bill at all. It would affect, if you, if you hook up to sewer, you'll have sewer. Their water would still be by the county, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your water would still be the county. For right now? Well, most no, of the time it stays that way forever. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know we've well, ever taken I mean, I, I just have questions because I just yeah. found out about this Friday. So I, understand I have a lot of questions. Yeah. I'm just confused. 
And I, I'd like to know what's going to happen and what the impact is going to be. Uh, but also, you know, it's my understanding by the few people I've met in this short period of time, they all have increased taxes too. It, it affects everybody, not just the people that want it. It affects everybody in that subdivision. Well, anybody that's annexed in the city, it will affect their taxes yes, because that, they have that city taxes. Yes, that if they annex us. Right. So, I have a question. Why would, why would I stay on county? Why would you stay on county water? Yes. Is that what you're saying? I mean, what, because the only thing I gain is paying the city taxes if I do that, right? Okay. You access the, to the sewer. You get the sewer, access to the sewer. But because you're on county water, <coughs> you will pay county for water. You pay the city for the sewer. Yeah, who's paying for all the hookups? Each individual landowner, if you wanted to hook up, you don't have to hook up. Yeah, you don't have to. And the difference is you won't ever have to have a septic tank. The only thing I gain is paying city taxes. I mean, really. Well, you don't have to have a septic tank. Police protection, fire protection. Well, a lot of that. No, we get that. Yeah. Well, fire are But my issue is, you know, where it comes in is my septic tank where it sets at, I have a gas line that runs right there. So then we've got to tear off all that and they intersect the way y'all want to run it if it got approved. All that would have to be. But I would have to be reliable stuff. for it because that's why in the the thing that y'all got, that's going to cost me more money to hook it all up. But yeah, whoever does, whoever hooks that up. So then if I have a gas line leak, then all that, then it just gets a big headache. They they inter they're going to intersect each Larry, other. Larry, would they have to move the gas lines, or would? I'm not, I'm not doing I don't, that. I don't. I don't know how it would work because I don't. I don't know. I don't know where all the lines are running out there. Explain to me more about the pipe. We have to run around the house all the way up to the, my front of the driveway where they're going to break yeah, my pavement and everything. Line, yeah, the line would come here in front of the house. So the tie-in would go from the septic pack to it. So whatever that cost, but you're up to the contractor. On so it's up to the subdivision. Just pass the drive-in on the right. Five percent, you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's 11 houses back there. Is it going on property owned? Property owners. So what property if they're not like here then? Huh? Amount of owners or amount of land? Property owners, so number of so owners. So how many owners do we have? 11. It could be 11. 11. No, there's some of them like your all's, there's, there's two. There's two owners. Two yeah. Owners. yeah. Uh, yours is two, Joey. Matt? Yeah, your all's is two. Randy's and Rhonda's is one, according to the PBA records. So what if they're not here that's Monday? What is that considered? Because people work. I mean, they have, we all have different schedules. So what if they're not here that Monday to vote? Did everyone get a letter? Or got so, called or something? Yeah. Everyone got a letter. We had to send them out. But it's not specific in the letter. Well, Miss Evans, I don't know if she's able. So you got to think, we have two elderly households out there. That one it depends on what day, and the other one depends on how her husband and herself are that day. Did they send a proxy or did they... the, the the vote next Monday is just for this commission to vote whether or not to do the first reading. And then it, there will be instruction on how to go about it if you want to do a petition to go on the ballot. Well, my understanding this is the second reading because that's why it's stated in here. Well, this first reading was for notice of intent. It still take two readings. Okay. So the so final vote. Clear. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. So the final vote is not going to be next Monday. No, it's going no, to be no. an initial vote because I would, I misunderstood that. There will be an initial vote next Monday. And so that'll put it where if it passes or not. That it, then it that's the first first read first process step in the process. Then it goes up and it. Enough people don't want it, they can do a petition. But like I said, we would have never done this except for the ones I had talked to. We had to, people that wanted it. Now it seems like some of them changed their mind. Well, I had been asked if we had septic issues, and I said no. And then a year ago, someone had messaged us asking where we stood, and we said no. Yeah, I think I sent you a message and, and asked, and you, I knew you all were yeah, just not interested. So we never heard anything else about it. So then I, got I, I was I thought I was interested mm -hmm. at one time, but. You know, I talked to you at the ball game for five minutes, and that's why I'm here to learn sure. more about it. Because you know, does I anyone have, have their letter with I them? I haven't. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I not talk to you anymore. Do you care about seeing? So I want to know yeah. kind of what's going on. Yeah, it'll run. We've got it fixed where they would run and hit every property owner could tie to it that's out there. I knew there was one that didn't, one or two that didn't want it, but 
from the ones I talked to and, and heard from so others that they had the Kevin numbers. So, Monday, we, there's six of us that vote now and then the other six yep. that vote Y'all don't have a vote Monday. So Monday, vote Monday vote? would just be a Monday first reading. Monday would be the first reading. We're going to go ahead and start with the proceedings to see if we can do it. Okay. We're going and then it takes start, a it petition. It takes a second reading, and then you all would have to get a petition saying, what is it, six out of 11 takes, don't want. Well, it takes 50% on the petition. When can we get that petition? You don't have after to write the first, it. Yeah. Well, after the first reading. Okay. The first reading that answer my question? It's Monday. Monday, the 20th. So one thing we may look at, I'm sitting here with a million dollars that we've got grants for all this, and if they don't want it, we're losing a million dollars. Yeah. Well, well, it sounds like okay. there's a lot of people that need it. Yeah. We, I, I know it doesn't work that way. <laughs> with the if you get a grant, it can only be like if, if you get a grant for say a basketball court, it can only be used on the basketball court. It can't be taken and moved over here and used on a tennis court or at the or the baseball field. It can't. It's only for that specific thing. And your address? Huh? How can we get a grant for our water issues next And your address is out there for the grant written. We can't move it to another address. I know, but I'm just, you've asked, I told so you. <laughs> I don't necessarily like it anymore than you do. And then y'all went found a grant. I'm sorry? So that, that's my understanding, right? Oh, we always look for grants so we don't have to pay for it. No well, offense. I, mean, I know that. My, my thing was somebody came to y'all, said they wanted said this. Said they wanted, they wanted this done, grant. yes. Well, we thought the majority of them wanted it. Yeah, because so I, grant. from ones we've talked to, and we thought the majority wanted it, and that's why we pursued it. Who's a grant through? What agency? Federal government, yeah. and there's two of them through the state. Is it like a grant? It's a what? It's like a grant or what, what division of the government is This is all through the Department of Interior, ARPA funds. Yeah. And then the state or what they call Senate Bill 35, 36 funds. Because I was through most of your grants, you could move 10% of those funds at will. Not these. Yeah. Not these, though. Well, it's not great, yeah. but. These are set up. Totally different because it's through the ARPA funds, through COVID funding. Yeah, ARPA is different than the regular like government yeah, grant too. This is all unusual funding that I'm came about, about just because <laughs> of the COVID situation. And Tina, did you say you didn't get a letter? I got a letter. I just received it Friday. Okay. Which the vote, the way I understood the letter was the vote was happening Monday and I came up to the city hall and I was asking questions and then they called Larry and he told me to come to this meeting because I had questions and nobody sure. could answer them and so I mean, that's where all this where, where I'm coming from I just I wanted to know why I was being annexed when I have this farm that we're working on and I just, I don't understand it. It would still come in as a farm. I mean, it's uh, not, it would still be a farm. It's not, that doesn't change. Well, the farm won't be taxed, will it? Uh, it's oh, well, it's, farm's taxed. but it's taxed. No, I, mean, I, I look, look. think, going from memory, your tax bill was going to be less than $100. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, for the property tax. For property tax, yeah. <laughs> why, why would ours be so much less than existing? Houses, residential, yes. farmland has, farmland is a different animal yeah. in the state of Kentucky. But farm I, land is uh, yeah, your house would be going under the same thing like my house is here in Beaver Dam. It would be under the same principle mine is. So much for well, how much is your taxes here? Good gosh. Oh, how much do I pay? Yeah. Here in the city I think I pay like three sixty seven or something. I'm thinking for you get three, a homestead discount? No, I do not. I wish I did. <laughs> three sixty seven. I lived in the county and I paid a whole lot more than Oh yeah, my county taxes are over a thousand dollars. Okay, mine yeah. are too for me. City years. taxes are like three sixty seven or four that is four sixty seven. Oh, you're just talking one piece of your taxes. No, my house in Beaverdam, wow. which is right up here on Fourth Street, is I think I pay over a thousand dollars for county taxes, and oh. I pay about four sixty seven or three sixty seven. Is that based on the property value? Based, based on certain amount. Yeah. No, it's not property value; it's assessed value. Yeah, which city tax. I, if I could get one of county taxes, property. I could just pay city taxes. I'd be in heaven. Trust well. me. I thought, wait a minute. I, now, I've been you're still going to have to pay the high taxes. Over at the courthouse on your farm, well, yeah. because I pay a ton of taxes on the farm. Okay, county tax. I get that, but that's yeah. like when you want to increase the taxes. Yeah, but again, it's a city. but what we're saying, the city, the farmland in the city is only going to be about, like you said, about a hundred dollars a year. It's all going to be. It's, it's cheap. I agree. I agree. I mean, you're talking a tax that our, we don't need because we have a city tax. Well, uh, do you pay do you pay fire dues? 
You pay your, I'm always pay fire dues. You pay fire dues. You don't have to pay fire dues if it's Atlantic City. Well, I, I don't like to pay fire dues. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying there are there are pros and cons to it. I agree, but I'm just saying there are good things and bad things to it too. So I mean, you don't just gotta certain things. That was just one of the things I want you know to do. What about all the animals out there? They gonna be allowed to stay out there or what? Animals. What? I mean, there's horses, chickens, dogs. No chickens. Uh, no. <laughs> hey. no I'm gonna buy a hundred tomorrow. Not out there. <laughs> no, the horses and stuff, Grandpa. in. Yeah. Okay. Any other live domestic animals that are out there will be grandfathered in if this goes hurt. So everything the way our house is, it gets grandfathered in. Should be grandfathered in. Okay. Unless there's something Am I, we don't. Ab, are we wrong on that? You ain't got exotic pets, do you? I, mean, I know the city well, one next for a city. <laughs> Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's probably and, and you can't, yeah, okay, you can't classify his wife as this an adult. County attorney, you said it's grandfathered in, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. So the city this, attorney, I'm going to tell you can. If this gets voted for, we'll have a date that it's going to take effect, right? Or that there'll be a final vote. It's like, yeah. Yeah. There, it was like, yeah. my yeah. misunderstanding that that yeah. It sounded like it was going to be decided upon on the 20th. No, that's, no. Had to be. that's no, that's just when we're having first reading. Okay. Right. Of the because annexation ordinance, and then you get another letter that, that explains the whole process. And Paul, I know you talked to a lot of us, and I understand the, the whole the frustration with the thank you people on board, thank you people not on board. But after we got these letters, and more we we've, we've said, talked about it, you're saying basically, not counting her property, there's 10 other properties. Say everybody gets four hundred dollars in taxes a year. That's four thousand dollars that us ten are paying per year, on top of whatever the sewer is per house. Because I feel like that in the long run would cost more than than fixing a sewer or a septic system here and there, depending on the homeowner situation. The, the problems you're going to run into, and it's just going to it's going to happen. It may be next year, maybe ten years from now, but you're going to start seeing more crackdowns on septic systems. That's just. Uh, nature of the beast right now with what they're doing with all the uh, clean water, all the environmental. But I heard crackdown is in what? If you have a septic problem, the health department will come in and you'll have to fix it. Well, yeah, they'll have to fix it. The homeowner always has to fix it. Sometimes there's no way to fix the septic and that's, they're getting harder and harder. I see this in, of course, I'm on with this Kentucky League of Cities. There's a lot of cities we're starting to see this with, especially in more urban areas where people are coming in, the health departments are coming in, it's like, we're going to have to do something. You're going to have to, and some of those can get expensive with the systems they require now because of all of the issues with coming to the top. Here, here's my other question. If this passes, these lines get run. If we don't want to tie into it, that we're not going to build for that, are we? For that service? No, no. Okay. Yeah, you, can, you can be, you can be, you can be, you can be it'll, it'll, it'll just, just it'll be, be there. there. It'll, it'll, it'll be there available that's, that's to you. That's where I got the concept of I got the option. That's where it was like I could opt out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Then I'd have to tie into it. Yeah, you don't have I to tie into it. I just cleaned myself to tank and done all kinds of things. Um, I mean, because we're at right now, if, if you tie into these septic lines, it's going to cost you whatever it costs to run from your septic to over here. How much of a bill each month are we talking about if you tie into that septic? It's all based on your water bill, yeah. water usage. Or, I mean, all ours are different. We're on county water, obviously. Well, I know, but we've got some others like that, though, and yeah. that we get a reading from the county on what your water usage is. What, what, what's the, what idea do you have, like a range? What's your, what's your water usage? You don't mean gallons? Well, if I don't... How much? Pool every year, it's so whatever the minimum is. Yeah. Your house is minimum? Yeah. Yeah. It's about 36 yeah. Yeah. 47, something like that. 50. Yeah. What is the memory of the sewer? I was going to say that. Uh, is it maybe six thousand? That's, that's how your sewer bill would be calculated. It would be on your use. Yeah, so could you give us an example? Say 55,000 gallons. Well, yeah, 2, 000, 000. 000. Uh, Ours is 2,000 oh, okay. gallon minimum yeah. in the city. So 2,000 gallon minimum. minimum. What would the second be? If, I'm sorry. Yeah, so basically, what I'm understanding is that the average minimum was about 2,000 gallons, which is what, what would you like me to convert 2,000 gallons to? Excuse me. <laughs> Siri has decided to get involved with this. Thank you, Siri. What would that set to grow on a base minimum of 2,000 gallons? I can give you an idea because we're annexed at Mother Hand behind Wendy's. Okay. So we have the city. 
um, we have the two bills, the water and the sewer. Mm -hmm. And you imagine we wash 50 kids' hands yeah. 5,000 times a day, so it's yeah. high water usage bathroom. And that bill for us is only about 100 bucks a month. And that's a lot of water usage. Yeah. So a small home, I would. I was, you know. So how much is your sewer? That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, saying. Oh, that's our sewer bill. Yes. Not my water bill. I can just bet. Once bill. they go in closed session, I can go and Shelby, our minimum water bill is how much right now? Our minimum water sewer is six. Water sewer and sanitation right now for people in city limits with the line insurance is fifty seven seventy five. Without the line insurance, it's fifty three ninety five. That's water, sewer, and sanitation. So you take the so I looked at one today, and it was, it was eighty dollars without the water. Uh, well, it's it's depending on the water usage. Yeah. No, without but, the water. Yeah, yeah but no. still, so, it's still depending on the water usage. That's what I'm saying. Our minimum bill is, would you say fifty fifty three? Fifty seven seventy five for two thousand gallons usage of water and sewer. So you okay, take. So what would the whole bill? Let's, that'd be about. That's why I'm trying to back out. You take the three out, that'd get it down to fifty four, and then you take the sanitation off about forty one. So probably your sewer's a little over half, so probably about twenty-three or four dollars for minimum. Yeah, I think it may be like twenty-three eighty-eight. I have a question for you. What's the what's it called the the insurance line? Who's that through? That's through the city. Through the city. We we self we, we self insure. That, that's for water line. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. water. You generally don't have problems with sewer lines yeah. once they're hooked up, or water line leaks. Or, Breaks in my head. So, could we get an example? I mean, of say 55,000 usage, gallons usage. No, oh Lord, you won't use 55,000. Wow, that's a lot of water. Yeah, 55,000. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you use 55,000 gallons. But 5,000 gallons, that's what that's what Dysel uses a month. Isn't it? Oh, that's, that's a huge amount. No, 5,000 is not Dysel. No. no. Okay, then I got it wrong. I'm like, yeah, I'm switching my number. Yes. <laughs> so could it be on um, 55 Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can bring you Do you know what your gallon usage is? I thought it was 55,000. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, you said 55,000. Whoa. You're filling a swim pool every week, yeah, ain't you? <laughs> well, 5,500. Well, no, I can't even do that. I was going to say if you're six, it'd be about a, your water sewer and everything would be about a hundred and some dollars. And take minus minus, and then a little over half that. So. I'll run up there. Here. Okay. Here's my last question. If, if this go, and this is all on the bill, if this goes through or not, this just be thinking ahead. Do, will we have city pickup on crash? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but you need more six bags. It's still six bags. You have to yeah. do six bags. Yeah. Well, we, we, but you, well, we make, if there's, put them in the, if there's something happening. Put them in the big bags. That's what we. Yeah, I got time for that. Penny's picks up 100 for yeah. 20 bucks a month. Yeah. Is that for residents only, commercial? Can't get the city trying to pick up? Uh, commercial. Uh, we've got, we've, do we have any commercial? We've got, we got a few. It'd be something separate. I looked at a, I looked at a tax, what they paid on the, and theirs was, you know, it was five hundred something dollars. I'm not gonna say it is. They asked me not to, and they are over sixty five. So they said they get a discount. So why would theirs be five hundred if you're saying ours would be around three? Based on the PVA value, yeah, the assessed value. Well, it's assessment. I was like fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Then it not five hundred dollars. Oh, there's no I've way. Got, oh, I've got a picture of it. Yeah, it is. Not on a 50,000. No. Mine's not that high. It's, it's, it's what, 1%? Or Mine's not that much for my house. Or so $50,000. Well, my mom paid 337 and they took 40000 off the value of their home because they get that discount. The 65 at discount? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how much would a $200,000 home appraisal be assessed at? I've lost my clock. Here's what mine. 
You have this bad. I gotta have that. Yeah. Two hundred thousand dollar home, six hundred dollars. Oh my God, that's the city home tax. Where do you but how much? Six hundred. Yeah, yeah, but I, your, I don't think yours is assessed for two hundred. No, I'm just using it as a number. Okay. Yeah, that's a good round number. But, but a hundred thousand, what would it assess for? Though? That's what I'm saying. You said it would be quite a bit less than what it would appraise for. Yeah. So. How's PBA take care of that? PBA. Well, I've looked them all up at one time, and I think I don't think anybody's would have been over three thirty or forty, maybe three fifty. I'm going from memory, so don't hold me to that, but. I want somebody to hold you to get Well, I can. I can. No, I can when I go back and look up on PBA and get your exact. And I can tell you exactly what your city taxes will be. I mean, because that's a little different for me because I think it's going to be a thousand. Oh. Close to a thousand. A year. Oh. My, mine. Is your county taxes a thousand? Close to it, yeah. Yeah, it, oh, it'll be. be about a third. I was going to say about a third, maybe less. But see, they don't add up to the. The one I know about. I, I know. Mean, I, that's, I don't know where everybody lives in Beaver now, so I can't that's, call them. But uh, what? I can't look online, and when I do look online, I find one that's five hundred something dollars, five thirty one. And the house would have to be an enormous house and cost a lot of money to be. Well, maybe, maybe when they look at, maybe they got overcharged. I don't, I don't know. know. Well, that, that's their I'm, problem. I mean, I looked online. My city, my city tax bill runs about three sixty. That's what I thought. Mine was about three sixty seven. I'm, I'm not sure. And I don't have the exemption yet. <laughs> I will. <laughs> this year I get the exemption. <laughs> He's bragging. Kevin's living for the exemption. I'm living for the exemption, yep. Yeah. Don't worry. It's not that much. It's not that it's much. Not that much. I know. Yeah. the exemption this year. Didn't even know I'm going to get it. Sir. So, I sent my son up here, here a while back. I think he talked to him about uh, the pizza place down there. We've got a large pothole. It's on the side of the road by the uh, sidewalk. And we were told that we couldn't be fixed because we owned it. So if that's the case, I'd like to know because we're getting ready to have some paving done and I'm going to strike it. So I just need to know if it's ours, we're striking. It's on the side of 3rd Street when Catmore was remodeling back in the, the early 90s. Yeah. The black house, all that for parking for itself. There's a sidewalk that runs through it that's cracked on pieces. You're right. If that's put in the VA days, which does not belong to us. So you don't the sidewalk the sidewalk, that? Is what you're telling me. Not there. Not there. Third Street, yeah. yeah. not that wide of right away. Oh, we have to get up there. Legal to work there. Right. So, so I'll go away to the street. That's the way he's telling it. What he said. So all I need to do is go all the way down to the street. I don't know. That's not the I'll warn you, the FBA country is really hard to tell. Thank you. I'll warn you. That's all I need to do. Thank you, guys. All right. Have a good night. No problem. No problem. Are we going to close this? Yeah. Okay. Anything? <laughs> I do have something. Don't run off because I need to tell you something. Yeah, I do need closed session for okay. a few minutes. I'll make a motion to go to closed session. Oh, well, 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 I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Yeah. Oh. What did you say? Did we get anything for it? We didn't get anything for the rezone? Yeah, I'll come again Thursday at the meeting. Ask for an application. I'll grant an application. So I didn't know how I was going to pull with you. They, they ruled no. I'll tell you what plane is on you. But they didn't give you an application? No, and I asked for one. Specifically asked for one. Why is he not being given an application? I don't know, because I specifically told her to get him one. Because I knew he had to ask the paperwork in the building. But that, he told her to give you one. I mean. Yeah, that, when all that was taken care of. And I saw your, I got the agenda with you on there. I thought, okay, he's taken care of. No, uh, they just told me it was up. And I know that they're not the final rule of body. Y'all, Yeah, we are. Let me work on that again. I mean, Don't give up two months, two months in when I get there. Well, I won't write But I thought we had that taken care of. No. One person rules that meeting. Do what? One yeah. One person rules that meeting. Okay. Bear with us. Because we, we might. Have we, Shelby, have we advertised for next Monday's meeting yet? No. Okay. We can add that to next yeah, Monday's that, call yeah. meeting. So let us check on that. Next, next Monday. I mean, I know y'all can roll with them, but it's fine. It's just, I need to know something. Sure. Well, you need an application. Yeah, I, need I have a real problem with you not getting an application that you can fill out to have something that we can look at, yeah. you know, with all the documents that go with it. Yeah. Uh, I tried. 
Yeah. I'll talk to her tomorrow. Yep. You'll see. Close session. Close session, Make please. Make a motion to a close session. Second. <laughs> Make a motion we come back into the oh, We already did that. Oh. <laughs> already, already done that, baby. <laughs> when you get up, watch your chair. You got a clip, on, paper clip business? on the floor. Don't get the chair okay. caught in it. You okay? <laughs> yes. Did y'all make a motion to adjourn, right too? To Not yet. We had to come back and say, That's you know, we didn't do this, we didn't do That's that. Does anyone have anything else? Then I move to we adjourn. Uh, Second. Second. Hope you're all here to be a better.